Hi all, my name is Haley Comet and welcome to my cosmic corner of the internet where we discuss all things astrology and today north node in Capricorn, south node in Cancer, through the houses you can begin to unlock the nodal story that plays out within your chart, the unique Capricorn north node plus wherever house you have it placed in, how that story comes alive within your life and how it can indicate past life themes, karma, setbacks, expertise, challenges, but also advancing our soul, learning new things, and eventually resulting in massive success. I'm so excited to detail your unique story of Capricorn North Node, Cancer South Node through the houses. Before I dive in, if you don't mind, if you gain any value from this video, if you learned something new about your nodal cycle, if you relate with something, if you wouldn't mind, drop a like, comment something below, subscribe only if you want to. Those little nudges are truly what helps me grow as a creator, so thank you so much. And without further ado, let's dive into the overall story of Capricorn North Node, Cancer South Node. So throughout the course of this video, I will be referring to past lives. If that is not a concept, Concept that resonates with you, no worries. I want you to just sub in early in life. So to understand where you're going, as depicted by Capricorn North Node, we must first understand where you've been. And that is your Cancer South Node, my friend. So Cancer is the energy of the nurturer, of the divine mother of the zodiac, right? So in this lifetime, you bring forth exquisite gifts when it comes to nurturing other people and being in touch with your own emotions, being in touch with the emotional antenna around you. It could be overwhelming when you're communicating with people because you can soak up so much of what it is that they're feeling that sometimes you can soak up more of the emotional stimuli that's coming in than the actual words that are coming out of their mouth. You are extremely emotionally sensitive and emotionally intelligent in regards to your emotions, in regards to others. You are someone who is very nurturing. You can be very selfless. You can be very giving. You could really prioritize family, home, domestic matters. You could prioritize your ancestry, even your country of origin. There is a tie with Cancer South Node to where it is that you come from, both from your family lineage, as well as your culture, things of the like. And while all of those attributes are beautiful, I do believe that there is a balance and you need to be mindful of not sinking into the more negative or shadow sides of Cancer South Node, which I will detail now. The shadow side of Cancer South Node is allowing emotions to dictate and rule your life. That is not what this lifetime is about and it could be very hard for you because you are someone who processes this planet with enormous emotions attached to it, right? Really happy happies, really sad sides. You feel the widest spectrum of emotions and it can be really hard to make decisions logically or rationally without letting those emotions interfere. In this lifetime, you are learned to flex the muscles of logic and up objectivity over and over and over again until you can build that. And, and of course, not ignoring or suppressing your emotions, but not letting them to run your life, not letting them control you. That could have been your Achilles heel in past lifetimes, and you can fall victim into these loops of pity, of obsessing over the past, as cancer is an energy that is associated with where we come from, right? As well as with the past. You know, there's an attachment to family, but there could have been a perception that your family didn't give you what you needed to to succeed and i've seen this with many of my clients where that initial wounding or that initial story runs their life right like you know my mother was never there for me my father was never there for me they didn't support me how they how they should have and now i'm a victim to how i am i'm powerless in controlling it and of course you know that does really impact how we grow up in this planet i'm not diminishing your pain or what you've gone through at all but it's really important that you don't let that pain or that wound of neglect define you because with north node capricorn which we'll go into deeper in a moment it's about learning how to take ownership of your life and oftentimes i've seen with clients cancer south nodes can get in this victimhood loop of well this is just the life i've been given because this is how i grew up or this is just who i am so there's no use of it i'm getting stuck into this martyrdom or to this pity complex this is not your destiny but it is something to be mindful of because it's a loop you can get stuck in and slow your own growth as represented by capricorn north node and it doesn't do you very good you know with cancer south node you're very nostalgic but trying not to live your life 
you know, really, really attached to the past. With North Node Capricorn, you are here to build the future. And while your ability to nurture other people, to caretake for other people, it can also go to the extreme at times where you are so dialed into other people's needs at the expense of your own. Or you could also just feel like other people are supposed to take care of you. You know, with South Node Cancer, there could have been past life themes around other people did take care of you, whether it was a family unit or a spouse or there was someone to protect you. So there could be this feeling in this lifetime, I'm not strong enough to survive on my own. So I need to caretake all of their needs so that they will take care of me or even caretaking to the point of that you're not really helping them because as a cancer south node you're going to attract a lot of people who are in pain and suffering and while your heart and your compassion is such a beautiful aspect of your spirit it's really important to realize that not everyone is necessarily going to want your help or benefit from it and you can honestly attract a lot of people who drain your energy from you because it is in your heart and it is in your spirit and it is in your chart to caretake and to nurture at the expense of what it is that you need, at the expense of boundaries, putting their emotions and what it is that they need above everything, above everything else within your world, above your goals. And maybe that, that maybe that worked in past lifetimes, but it's not gonna work in this one. And I wanna make this distinction because this conversation has came up with a couple of my mother clients who have this. I'm not saying as a South Node Cancer that you are not here to be a mother and that you are not here to nurture. That's not it at all. But there are certain loops that you can get in around trying to nurture or take care of people who don't want to be taken care of. Obviously, if you have a baby, you need to take care of that baby. But around trying to save partners, trying to save your friends and putting their needs and their desires above your own, above your own goals. So just an, an important loop for you not to get stuck in and let's talk about what you are here to chisel and refine in this lifetime. So as a North Node Capricorn, you are here to take ownership and responsibility over your life. Let me say it again. You are here to take ownership and responsibility over your life. And that is a hard pill to swallow, right? With Cancer South Node, there is this feeling that other people need to take care of me. I don't want to do this. I don't want to build my future. I want to obsess and fixate on the past. I don't want to take responsibility of where I want to live or what I want to do, or I just don't want to deal with it. I would rather just deal with the past or ruminate on you know, what someone said to me years ago. The, the future could overwhelm you. And of course, where North Node is placed is not where we're inherently comfortable. So if this is making you really uncomfortable, good. Whenever I talk about my North note or I read about it, it makes me so uncomfortable because that's what it's about. It's about getting us out of our comfort zone. You've been in a past life cycle of Cancer South Node many times. The Capricorn energy is what's new to you. So if this is giving you, if this is making you uncomfortable, you feel tempted to X out, just hear me out, okay? So with North Node Capricorn, you are here to set and achieve your own goals, to look towards the future rather than ruminate over the past, okay? And to build the future that you want. You are not a powerless individual. This lifetime is about you stepping up to the plate of your own life and ensuring your own success. And the universe will give you opportunities should you choose to take advantage of them. It's really important. You know, you might need some time to think over things, but there can be this energy of Cancer South Node about not realizing an opportunity when you see it and then ruminating, oh, I should have taken that, I should have taken that. With North Node Capricorn, it is about stepping up to the plate. If someone comes to you with a perfect business proposition, if someone comes to you with the perfect role, stepping up to the plate and realizing your own potential because you are here to achieve. Truly with North Node Capricorn, as uncomfortable as that could feel, because a lot of times people with the Stone Cycle struggle with self-doubt extremely. And you might feel like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can step up. And it's okay if you feel like you're not exactly, you know, that ideal self right now, but it's important if an opportunity comes for you to work on that energy that you seize it, that you take advantage of that class, of that role, of that partnership, of that proposition, and step up to the plate, being responsible over your life setting attainable goals for yourself. I cannot emphasize how important this is. And whenever I talk about this nodal cycle, I just think of this time in my life when I you know, was in a very, very draining and exhausting emotional experience around caretaking someone else at the expense of myself. And goals were what pulled me out of that time. And that's why I'm sharing that experience to you because that's what I think of when I look at this nodal cycle. Because with North Node Capricorn, 
for you to become the successful individual that you are truly born to be, it's in your chart, it's part of your nature, you are here to lean into this. It's important that you prove to yourself that you can be successful because where you will get stuck is doubting your own ability and then being and then taking pity on yourself. Like, oh, things never work out for me. This is just how it'll be. With North Node Capricorn, it's about, wow, I just ran one mile. Maybe in two weeks, I'll try two miles and just continuing on that cycle or, hey, I did pretty good on that project. Maybe I'll take on one more. Achieving your goals and, and building that confidence, building that strength to realize you are a successful person. You just have to get out of your own way around ruminating over mistakes, ruminating over the past, how things could be differently. With North Node Capricorn, it's asking you to take a very proactive response in this lifetime around building the life that you want to create rather than just feeling like it'll drop in your lap. Like there might be a lot of opportunities that the universe sends your way, but it's up to you to take them, to work at it, to chisel, to have self-discipline, to work towards what it is that you want rather than emotionally build yourself a case and all these excuses around why you can't do that or why other people can do it and you can't. With North Node Capricorn, you will be supported around conquering challenges, building strength, being responsible. You ha could have gifts because of your South Node Cancer around being able to build and manage a team in a way that is both emotionally you know, receptive with your Cancer South Node as well as practically sound, which is a muscle you're working on in this lifetime with your North Node Capricorn. So that could be an area of expertise within you. And there's nothing wrong with being taken care of with others, but with North Node Capricorn, you are being asked to work towards something within the public eye and just being mindful around not sacrificing your own desires and your ambitions to appease other people or to take care of other people. Your ambitions are important this lifetime. That's why you chose a Capricorn North Node. We're taking it house by house. I grouped these by rising signs and if you use whole sign houses, it will be the rising sign I list. If you use Placidus, I do as well. It may differ. I just want you to go by where your Capricorn North Node is by house, even if the rising sign is different. I just do that for individuals who might not remember off the top of their head, but remember the rising sign. So let's dive into Aries rising. So Aries ascendant or North Node in Capricorn in the 10th house, South Node in Cancer in the fourth house. So for you, there can be certain ways that you argue for your shortcomings in regards to to the method of your upbringing or the nature of your upbringing or certain elements of your ancestry or of your story. There could be certain elements of your upbringing where you're like, well, I can't ever do anything because I was raised this way or it's simply part of my lineage or it's simply how things are done back in my hometown. You could use how you were brought up or your family or your culture as a way to defend yourself around not achieving your goals. There could be certain toxic family dynamics, which of course, it's not always necessary to, you know, cut people off in this in this nodal cycle. It might it might be a little necessary simply because with Cancer South Node, you so badly want to feel part of a family. You want to have this sense of belonging. And with this particular story, it can hold you back wanting to belong so much so that you sacrifice your own peace, your own desires, your own ambitions in order to take care of the family unit. There could be certain elements of, you know, feeling like your primary role in this life is as a is as a mother, a father, as a, you know, as a as someone who runs the household and there's nothing wrong with that that's very very respectable but it does suggest with this particular note of story that there's more that your soul is after in this lifetime it really wants to create value within the public eye it wants to work on your career it wants to advance itself it wants to you know be a manager it wants to be a leader or something of the nature and there can be certain emotional toxic cycles you're stuck in family toxic cycles that you're stuck in, or even just not wanting to leave your hometown, not wanting to leave the nest, that sort of block your ability to fly your wings, right? It's like the energy of this is very much like staying in the nest, staying in the nest, staying in the nest, scary to fly. And with North Node Capricorn's 10th house, you are here to fly and that could entail cutting off certain family members, if there is a really toxic dynamic that could involve leaving your hometown, that could involve you know building your future rather than ruminating on the past, that could involve building skills and making them available to the public eye. You are here to build your dreams, build your goals, and there is a public er energy of this. You could be someone who is very successful in business. 
your karma is set up very well for that. Or you could be very successful as a manager, as a leader of having eyeballs on you. And it is challenging because with the Cancer South node, you know, you might feel more comfortable in that nest, but you're here to be seen. And if people do have criticism on you, you know, just don't take it personally. With North Node and Capricorn, business is business and you are your own person outside of it. And you're really here to build your career and realize that when people have certain critiques over your career, it's, it's not about you, it's separate than you. And yes, it is very terrifying to put yourself out there, but it's sort of part of what you are here to do my taurus ascendant or north node in capricorn in the ninth house south node in cancer in the third house so for you there could be certain themes whether past life or in this lifetime of not wanting to leave your neighborhood of not wanting to leave your surroundings of not wanting to you know leave your social circle you could feel like your immediate surroundings are your family and you don't want to betray them by going off and having adventures and having your own experience you could even have certain like toxic emotional dynamics within siblings cousins extended family or just neighbors or just you know people you've grown up with people who are around you where it sort of blocks you from realizing your own potential getting caught up in you know emotional drama and getting caught up in gossip oh this is what so-and-so said about so-and-so and you because you are so such an emotional in tune person being drawn to wanting to nurture and take care of them and be like oh it's okay I'm so sorry that happened and it sort of drains your own energy and you're really not here to deal with small minds and small problems not insulting <laughs> not insulting anyone but truly your, your energy is here to build your future and build your value system that makes sense and build your own logical way of viewing the world. So with North Node Capricorn in the ninth house, you can find that traveling is something that is really helpful for your soul. It's likely with this nodal cycle that you're, you know, in a past life, you're, you know, your family lived in the same neighborhood for years and years and years. And for you, you're starting a new karmic cycle by leaving your hometown, by traveling, by spreading your wings, having new experiences. And I was emphasizing this logical belief system that makes sense to you because with North Node Capricorn, you are here to chisel you know being logical being rational about decisions and with ninth house it's about belief system so maybe you know with south node cancer there can be a certain energy of believing the same things of the people around you or not even contemplating it it's like you have such strong emotional antenna that you can be dialed into the people around you belief systems opinions and thoughts even more so than you realize and there might be a certain degree of distance that you need in order to like really tap into okay what is it that i believe what is it the life that i really want to create what is the religion that works for me what is the spirituality that works for me what is the vision of my world that works for me this combination you could even set up a business that involves perhaps other countries or involves traveling in some way or you could set up a business and really step up as a spiritual leader of some sort, allowing yourself to be seen and to leave the confines of you know, your immediate network. And, and it's not saying anything bad about them, but there just could be certain nature around the people surrounding you can hold you back and almost like get you into this group think mindset where you might not feel like you're able to chisel your own beliefs and goals and vision over this planet. And you could even step up as a spiritual leader, as a practitioner of some sort and getting comfortable with eyeballs on you. Because with South and Cancer, you know, Cancer is the crab. They sometimes want to hide within their little shell. But with North Node Capricorn, it's about stepping up, ascending to the highest of your ability, building a belief system and a value system that works for you. Gemini Ascendant, North Node in Capricorn in the eighth house, South Node in Cancer in the second house. So for you, there is this fascinating story taking place around North Node and Capricorn stepping up to the plate around surrender eighth house matters which those might seem opposites but hear me out here's how i would delineate it it feels like with south node in the second house for you to make money it was important to have this sense of belonging to family to your immediate surroundings you could have been the breadwinner for your family or you could have been dependent on your family to take care of you to a certain extent money could have been the primary of your thoughts and your concerns you could have had to work very hard for it in order to provide for everyone else it could have been a concern of yours you could have had to you know hold it down so that other people in your family could make the money in some way had to you know had a spouse and you had to nurture that person so they could make money or had a child and had to take care of them so that they can make money money was the primary thought within your head and it feels like 
you or someone else could have had to work very hard for it and a lot of your emotional energy was sucked up into money and with north node capricorn it is about getting out of the mindset of sort of like an employee and moving into the mindset of a boss <laughs> okay so with north node eighth house this is a house of risk so you could find that in this lifetime that you are expanded when you start a business you know go in with a business partner have that certain element of risk as well as being able to manage and oversee a team who can work on your behalf, being able to own your own business opportunities. Eighth house is other people's money. So you could find a role such as an accountant or financial manager is very helpful for your soul. And it's about viewing money differently, viewing money outside of just, you know, the energy put in and getting a paycheck, energy put in and getting a paycheck and looking to how money can work for you. So it'll free up more of your time to attend to other pursuits. It's about stepping up to the plate in order to take control of your financial future of taking advantage of opportunities for investment grabbing life by the horns in terms of certain business partnerships even if there's an element of risk right being able to use your north node capricorn just identify okay what are the potential gains what are the potential drawbacks does this make sense is this rational getting emotions out of it with self node kids and second house you could have a very emotional response around money feeling great when you have it feeling horrible about yourself when you don't really fearing, really fearing taking a risk because with South Node second house cancer, there's this attachment to the past. So like really ruminating, oh, remember that one time you put some money into crypto and didn't go anywhere? Like forget stocks, forget investment. It's not safe, it's not safe, right? South Node cancer really wants security. And with North Node Capricorn, it's about being a boss. And that, that involves a certain degree of risk, whether it's setting up a business, whether it's joining with business partner, whether it's stocks, whether it's investments, whether it's passive income, really looking at money in a different way and really looking at yourself in a different way and stepping up to be the boss of your own life. Cancer rising, North Node Capricorn in the seventh house, South Node Cancer in the first house. So for you, you are very much security seeking and the depth of your emotion can be so real and so intense that you could fear opening up or connecting with other people because you are fearful that they will hurt you or that it's not safe to open up and or that's not safe to open up you could have early life experiences where you know those times you did open up you got hurt and then you ruminate over that and close yourself off to other people you could feel like it's not safe to trust there could be certain elements of your family that made you feel like it's not safe to trust other people it's not safe to work with other people so you know cancer is the crab you have your shell you can be very guarded to other people but the interesting thing in this lifetime is that you are meant to lean into partnerships but in a logical smart way in a way that has boundaries like for you you crave intimacy and security and emotional support so much that you can you know partner with people who are in need of healing or siphon energy from you you're really here to pick wisely with north node capricorn in seventh house it's really about realizing that marriage is a business and I know that's strange but marriage is a business <laughs> like you two are in it together to manage you know your assets your children in order to take care of the surroundings and you know you have to view your dating life as a business as you're interviewing people is this someone that you can truly build with is this someone who will support your own goals is this someone who you can depend upon is this someone where you trust their decision making or you trust their money making ability it's not that your lifetime is just around money and that you should just pick who's ever richest it's about who whose goals are in alignment with yours in terms of the future. Remember, with self known cap cancer, there could be a tendency to ruminate on the past. Oh, that person hurt me and that person hurt me and it's not safe. With Northern Capricorn, it's about going into every day. Can I build a future with you? Will you support my dreams and my ambitions? Because that is important as a North Node Capricorn is that you partner with someone who doesn't make, who doesn't appeal to, you know, your cancer self node energy around just nurturing their every desire. Someone who respects that you too have ambitions, you too have desires, you too have things that you want out of life. And it's just really important that, you know, a lot of people can appeal to your compassionate nature with sob stories, but in this lifetime, it's about being very logical in terms of who you partner with. As a North Node seventh house, partnerships will expand you a lot. And this could be business partnerships, North Node Capricorn seventh house, 
or you know marriages think marriage things of the like but you really have to be logical lead with your head and not your heart is this person long time long-term goals in alignment with yours does this person make sense for your life do they respect your boundaries do they respect your ambitions so while the universe will send you amazing people to partner with because north node is where we we're sort of soulfully supported being discerning using your logic taking into account your long-term goals my potential leo ascendance north node in capricorn in the sixth house south node in cancer in the 12th house so for you pity parties are really something to be avoided they can imprison you when you're in the loop around this is why i'm the way i am this is why no one likes me it all strikes back to what happened in second grade or how my mom used to talk to me or how my father used to talk to me or what runs in my lineage and don't get me wrong i'm not discounting your struggle i'm not discounting anything that i that you've been through i'm just saying with this nodal cycle those stories that you tell yourself can keep yourself stuck into this emotional cycle around ruminating over the past rather than building your external surroundings you can feel safest when you're in your own world in your own solitude but it's not super helpful for you and you know the home the home can be comfortable sure but for you it can turn into your prison of feeling isolated from the world around you and and this lifetime it's not necessarily on your Charts agenda with North Node Capricorn in the sixth house. You are here to be active within the world, right? To be of service. North Node in sixth house is expanded to a soul level by solving problems for other people, by being of service. North Node Capricorn, same, creating value within the external world. And you could feel like, well, if only I would feel safe enough, or if only I could heal all this stuff, and then I would be able to go out in the world and feel more confident and strong. But what's funny about this nodal cycle is that that confidence, that strength, happens when you participate within the external world when you go out there and you know create create value be of service to other individuals honestly any sort of service profession i know we keep harping on this word service but you have such a emotional radar with the south node cancer and with north node capricorn you know you are here to work on logic and business and things of that like but I think North and South Node is a balance. And for you, you can be someone who is incredibly receptive to your client's needs. You could be someone who is a, you know, a doctor or a nurse because you both have the emotional dimension of South Node Cancer as well as the logical dimension of Capricorn North Node. You could be someone who makes other people feel safe within your presence and then physically and tangibly solves problems for them. And to an intrinsic level, that will pay off as well as taking the reins in regards to health. There can be certain comfort mechanisms that hold you back. That could be, you know, certain, you know, foods that you eat or certain habits that you have that, that comfort you, but they're not super supportive for your health. With North Node Capricorn, setting goals and achieving them is super helpful. And for you in this house, setting health goals. Okay, I'll run one mile and the next week I'll run two. Set them small if need be. This week I'm going to make sure I eat lots of, you know, colors in my diet. I'm gonna make sure I drink this much water. I'm gonna ensure that I walk every day. Setting those goals and achieving them and you'll build confidence as a result. You are here to prioritize health. And this nodal cycle, it's about structuring your time wisely. So ensuring that you have routines that anchor you, that ground you, even if it's easier to do what's comfortable and to, you know, sit in your pity party with North Node and Capricorn, it's like, oh, I so do not feel like walking right now, but I know I'm going to feel better and then I'm going to, you know, be able to study tonight. If I get outside for a little bit, I'll feel better. With South Node Cancer, it's really important you don't indulge your emotions too, too much. Of course, you know, we can't suppress everything, but it's going to keep you in this loop and you're going to sort of fall victim to things such as procrastination and escapism, which is not helpful in this lifetime. Solve problems head on, build your future head on, provide value to the world around you. Take care of your own body, take care of your own health. That's what this notice cycle is all about. Sixth house is also people that you hire. So with North Node and Capricorn, if you are a business owner, you can find that you are expanded by hiring employees. You know, with North Node and Capricorn, it's about looking at the big picture of how something is doing and being able to pull in individuals to make your visions come true. My potential Virgo Ascendants, North Node and Capricorn in the fifth house, South Node in Cancer in the 11th house. So for you, a tendency to watch is your tendency around 
over identifying with your social groups or the people around you at the expense of your own goals. With South Node Cancer in 11th house, it is so important for you to feel like you belong, whether that is belonging to your family unit, whether that is belonging to your friendship group, or even just belonging to this generation. For you, belonging equals safety. It is not safe for me to be seen. I need to nurture and caretake the other people within my family unit or the other people within my friendship group or the other people within my community because the good of all of us is better than my own good and my own goals. And that's a tendency to watch. With North Node in Capricorn in the fifth house, you are here to be okay with standing out and taking ownership over your own life. One vehicle could be through creativity. Fifth house is self-expression. And with you know the Capricorn influence, you can even make a business out of it. And you know, even though art is something that's very creative, it takes discipline, which is a muscle you're definitely working on as a North Node Capricorn to sit down and to create. Another avenue could be children. You could have to get really serious about your goals in order to provide for the children within your life. And you also, it's an interesting combination, you could have to work at owning your play. Like there could be certain elements around feeling defined by your childhood, like feeling like you had to grow up too soon and that you didn't really get that time to just be a kid. And with North Node Capricorn in the fifth house, you could have to work on, you know, having things that are just fun that are just play for you that kind of bring you back to the inner child nature. You could be quite gifted at working with children, like opening up some sort of daycare, being a teacher because you can connect with them. You don't, you know, you can, you can connect with them. You have very gift. You have a really great gift because your cancer South node around being able to anticipate their needs. But with North node Capricorn being able to create the structures and the boundaries for them, because that's another big thing is that with, you know, your self node cap your self node cancer, you can't be too attuned to their emotions. You know, if they break the rules, you can be like, oh, it's okay. Like with North Node Capricorn, you've got to be responsible and diligent with yourself and with others. You've got to lay down the law. You've got to learn that in this lifetime. And that might come up when you are raising your own children or working with children in some way. But all in all, it, this energy is about feeling safe to stand out. You don't need to belong to a social group in order to live a really happy, happy life. You can build your own goals. You don't always have to think of the good of all of us is more important than the good of just me. Like it could feel very uncomfortable for you to be selfish, for you to put your own goals and ambitions first, but that's exactly what you're here to do. Even if you stand out, even if people think it's weird that you left, even if people think that your business is odd or they make fun of you, you are here to stand out. You are here to get eyes on yourself and you are here to be responsible and diligent about what it is that you choose to do. My potential Libra ascendants, North Node and Capricorn in the fourth house, South Node and Cancer in the 10th house. There could have been certain elements around your emotional receptivity is what helped you succeed. You could have worked in some sort of healing profession. And while you have gifts in that, it's really important that the pursuits that you choose in this lifetime is intrinsic payoff to you because with South Node Cancer, there South Node Cancer in 10th house, there is a certain nature around having to do something because it was what it was expected of you. It was in your lineage, it was in your ancestry, it was how you were raised to do this thing. And it was about what looked good on the outside rather than you know what really felt good on the inside. And with North Node Capricorn in the fourth house, it's about being diligent about what it is that you want from life, about what it is that you want to feel when you go to work every day, about what kind of home that you want to live in and securing the funding and making it happen for yourself. Like with South Node Cancer time pairs, there can be a certain career path that you were set on that it was almost like being being floated into that way. Like you could have this passivity like, yeah, I'm just supposed to do this because everyone said I would be a lawyer and that's just like what I'm doing. With North Node Capricorn, it's taking the reins like, no, I actually want to, you know, I actually want to have children. I want to be able to spend time with them. I want to be a stay at home mom. It's always something I've dreamt about and taking the reins of your own life in, you know, only dating people who also have that own goal or maybe getting the class and certification that are necessary for the goal that you want, even if it's not what everyone expected for you, even if it's not the easy way with North Node Capricorn, it's about rising to the challenge and taking the reins and taking the reins for the life that you want to build to a very internal intrinsic level with it in the fourth house. You could have certain elements of wanting to work work with homes, work with properties with this combination. Family could be something really important and viewing family like a business because it truly is, you know, like if you have dreams of having a family and wanting to stay home with them all the time, you have to take the reins on order in making that 
dream possible. If you want to live in the forest, you've got to secure, okay, how am I going to make money? Where am I going to live? What's going to happen? You've got to take all those steps into building your dream world, building your dream house, building your dream reality, doing your happiness like a business. Okay. And sometimes, you know, for us to be happy and build our life from the inside out, it takes being responsible, being diligent, looking for, you know, looking for our ideal home and our ideal city, or looking for the partner who will support our familial goals, or looking for the professional that will make us happy, even if it's not what everyone else expected. There can be certain elements of diving into family a little bit more deeper, maybe having stronger boundaries when it comes to family, maybe taking responsibility over your lineage, maybe breaking some, you know, ancestral karma or just something that fell into your lineage. And it's not about, you know, feeling sorry for yourself. That's the Cancer South note. It's about stepping up to the plate and saying, hey, I know this is where I come from. I know this is my lineage. Let me take control in order to stop the cycle here and now. My potential Scorpio ascendants, North Node in Capricorn in the third house, South Node in Cancer in the ninth house. For you, it feels like you in a past life, or maybe early in life, were part of some sort of religion, you know, that was in your family, and it was like, you need to believe in this because everyone else, you know, believes in this and it fell. And you know, with South Node Cancer, certain traditions are important to you, but you need to look at this and, and say, does this really make sense for my life? Is this, is this grounding me down within my present experience? Is this working for me? There might be certain elements of the religion that you grew up with that, no, that don't work for you. And you need to sort of take the reins of your own life in building the belief system that does work for you. There can be certain elements of just feeling like, the universe has got my back or it's all gonna be okay. Like I don't need to do anything with North Node Capricorn. It's about like, okay, no, I've gotta take logical, practical steps in order to make my dreams happen for you. Yes, I am supported by the universe, sure, but I can't just sit at home all day and wait for everything to be dropped down to me. And you know, you can have your head in the clouds at sometimes, whether it's really drawn to nostalgia or just constantly, you know, just like out there dreaming, like constantly wanting to, you know, travel or feeling like life is out there. With North Node Capricorn, it's like, okay, take advantage of this present moment. Even if you're in a space and you can't necessarily, you know, move or travel with North Node Capricorn, it's about taking the reins and looking for opportunities to better your life here, you know, rather than running away from your problems, whether it's like running away by just dreaming about, oh, I wish things were better or dreaming about the past or running away by physically running away, going to retreat, traveling, something like that with North Node Capricorn. It's like, okay, how can I better my life in the here and now? So there could be certain trades for you to, you know, bolster your skill set in order to, you know, earn a higher income for yourself and secure the dream that you want rather than just waiting for like money or opportunities to drop from the sky. There can be certain elements around learning, taking classes, building your communication with other people. With South Node Cancer in the ninth house, you could have certain elements of solitude, not wanting necessarily talk to other people, just being in your own dream world. And with North Node Capricorn, a lot of like client referrals, like your network is very important is what I'm saying with this combination. So being willing to put yourself out there where North Node is, is that where we're most comfortable. So you might not necessarily love chatting with people, but a lot of your opportunities can come through the contacts and the connections that you make with other individuals. Writing could be really helpful for you to logicize what it is that you are feeling and sensing because it's important that you don't, you know, fall victim to what was me pity party. I'm just going to dream up my ideal life instead of creating it with North Node Capricorn, maybe taking all those emotions and putting them into linear way of understanding them helps you have a little bit more logic over the situation. There could be a certain elements, third house is also siblings, extended family. So there could be a certain element of having to step up to the plate in order to protect them or to provide for them or something of the nature. So also look out for those themes. My Sagittarius ascendants, North node Capricorn in the second house, South node Cancer in the eighth house. So for you in past lifetimes, there was this theme around the family took care of you. It took care of your needs, whether it was your spouse took care of you or the family unit took care of you. You didn't have to earn your own money, it feels like. In this lifetime, the idea of making money or being out on your own could really terrify you. It could be really scary. And there's nothing wrong with being supported by other people, but in this lifetime, you're being asked to take the reins of your own life and to provide for yourself and to realize your own ambitions. And the universe will send you opportunities to earn an income for yourself, to, you know, to step up and rise up to the peak and the zenith of your ability here. But you could keep yourself trapped from those opportunities and just waiting for someone else to save you or waiting for someone else to rescue you or take care of you or getting yourself into this loop around, 
like I can't do this around I can't do this I'm too emotional I'm too scarred I'm too traumatized from the past I can't go out and earn an income from me why is this world so unfair why do I have to go do this why can't someone else just take care of me and support me living a life mostly from your like trauma or from your like emotional realm rather than diving in and really taking the reins in a logical sense and I don't mean to discount anything that you've gone through when I say that, but I've just seen time and time again with this nodal cycle, is that people live in the past and they use their past and their challenges as a way to defend why they can't go after what it is that they want. But it, in this nodal cycle, you will find healing in the pursuit of setting goals for yourself and going after what you want. Because second house is not only money, it's also self-esteem. Because with North Node second house, you can have a hard time around knowing who it is that you are, knowing your own preferences and desires. It feels like in past lives, you've always been identified with who you were to other people, nurturing, taking care of other people so that they would take care of you. You are so dialed into other people's emotional responses at the expense of your own. So much of your energy could have been drained around anticipating other people's moods and walking on eggshells around them that when it comes to your own self, your own identity, you could feel lost. You're like, I don't know who I am. I don't know what I want. I don't know what my goals are. What are my ambitions? Because so much of your energy is drawn to taking care of other people. With North Node Capricorn in the pursuit of earning an income, you learn your own worth. You learn the value that you bring to every situation. You learn what it is that you enjoy to do. You learn that you are a successful person. It's very common with this North Node story is that they doubt their abilities. They doubt their ability to be successful, but it's it's in the stars this lifetime for you to be successful. You just have to believe it. You just need to put yourself out there. Set goals, start you know small, and then just keep rising up. Certain areas of how you can make money with North Node Capricorn, it could be you know being a manager of some sort, being a leader, leaning into business. My potential Capricorn risings, North Node in Capricorn in the first house, South Node in Cancer in the seventh house. So you are very, very dialed into other people's emotions and feelings, so much so that it could be at the expense of yourself. You could have identified yourself in past lifetimes with the people that you were connected with, whether it was your family unit or your spouse or anyone of the nature. And so much of your energy had to be drawn to nurturing and taking care of that particular person rather than finding out who it is that you want, your goals, your ambitions, which is on the menu in this lifetime with this North Node. We need to be mindful around with self node cancer is around partnering with people who you want to save or you want to fix or you want to nurture back to health. That's simply not going to work. And honestly, in this lifetime, you could draw a lot of emotionally vampiric sort of individuals who want to take advantage of your kindness, take advantage of your compassion. You're the sort of individual that if someone's you know down on their luck, you want to take care of them. You want to nurture them at the expense of what it is that you want. You could you know feel like other people's goals and ambitions are more important than your own. So you would rather just let your partner shine and let yourself dim in the background. You might not even have had the time to question what it is that you want because you've always viewed yourself in the context of, oh, I'm this person's mother, I'm this person's spouse, I'm this person's partner, I'm you know nothing more than that. But you are so much more than that. With North Node Capricorn in first house, it's about really deciding what it is that you want from life and taking the reins and not letting other people control your world for you, okay? Not letting other people control your destiny for you. You are here to be a proactive individual and take the reins of your life. Take control of what it is that you want. Take control of who it is that you are. And if there is a fork in the road where it's either do what someone else wants you to do with your life or do what it is that you want to do, I pray and I hope that you choose yourself because with North Node First House, it is on the menu for you to be a little selfish. You've had many lifetimes of being selfless and all it's gotten you is people who siphon and train your energy. And what's funny is that you will find the right individual once you prioritize your own goals and ambitions and someone who respects that and respects you because you respect yourself enough to flesh out your potential. And that involves being visible as just you and not just you in a partnership that can make you uncomfortable to have eyeballs on you, to be open to critique. But with North Node Capricorn, it's about having discipline to realize your potential. It's about putting yourself out there and co-creating the life that you want rather than just waiting for someone else to give it to you. My potential Aquarius risings, North Node in Capricorn in the 12th house, South Node in Cancer in the 6th house. So for you, you are a natural caretaker and you could have been past lifetime 
time this combination feels like you could have been a nurse or a nutritionist someone who a lot of your energy was around nurturing other people with north node capricorn in the 12th house it's about stepping up to the plate and taking the reins around your own healing journey with you know south node cancer in the sixth house it can be a certain tendency of wanting to fix everyone else's problems so that you don't have to deal with yours and with north node capricorn in the 12th house it's about viewing your own subconscious processing your own trauma and really viewing it in a way of like okay how can i give my life the structure that i need in order to process this and create a more healthy emotional environment for myself not really viewing it from like what was me sort of energy of south node cancer but really diving into north node capricorn around how can i take the reins and be responsible of my own mind of the things that i hide from and that can be really scary right to dive into all of those things that are easier to ignore and suppress and it's really interesting with this nodal cycle because you have to sort of face it head on because with south node cancer there can be a tendency to live in the past with north node capricorn it's like okay I want to achieve all these things for my life and I really need to look at these particular these particular coping strategies. Are they truly working for me? And part of this journey with North Node 12th house being alone could be something very scary to you. South Node Cancer really wants to feel like they belong with other people. That could be the radar radar of what is secure to them. And with North Node Capricorn, it's about being able to have boundaries around not being at everyone's beck and call, not constantly solving problems for other people, not constantly nurturing everyone else. They call you middle of the night and you run over with North Node Capricorn 12th house. It's like, no, I need to have boundaries in order to protect my own mental health. I need to sleep eight hours. I need to have two hours of uninterrupted time in the morning before I go to work and drains all my energy, right? It's about being able to prioritize your own self. It's about being able to dive deeper into your own healing and from a perspective of how can I, can I face this head on in order to achieve the goals that I am passionate about? Other combinations with this, you could be someone who's very, very into psychology. You could work as a psychologist, work as a therapist. You could work as someone in the spiritual or healing arts in some way, combining the North Node Capricorn penchant for business success and logical processing with the 12th house nature of subconscious processing. That could be a potential avenue for you, but for you to be able to be that leader and be that manager, it takes going through that healing from yourself and approaching it from a very logical, methodical and with strong boundaries sort of perspective. My potential Pisces ascendants, North Node Capricorn in the 11th house, South Node Cancer in the 5th house. So for you, there does seem to be strong maternal energy here as 5th house is children. Cancer is also the energy of the mom. So there could have been, you know, past life themes around being a mom, around a lot of your life being around nurturing and taking care of your immediate you know your immediate surroundings there can be certain energy of you know youthfulness within your past life so you can even feel that now like just having a very playful spirit you know not wanting to take life or yourself too seriously and you have strong creativity it could be a way for you to emotionally process and while these are all attributes to honor and to respect within yourself it's not where you should necessarily stay within this lifetime Unfortunately, this lifetime with North Node Capricorn, you do sort of have to get serious about building the future that you want. There can be hedonistic themes with South Node Cancer in the fifth house around doing things just because it's fun or just because it comforts you in that time at the expense of tomorrow. So it's like, I'm emotional, so I'm just going to drink all night. And then, you know, you miss a really important job interview. Just because something brings you comfort in the moment doesn't mean that it is helpful. With North Node Capricorn, you need to have discipline within your reality around not indulging every emotional whim and thinking of tomorrow, right? It's like, okay, I so want a glass of wine, but I know I have this interview tomorrow. So I am going to get eight hours of sleep and wake up to work out because I know I'll be the best self with 11th house, 11th house is hopes and dreams for tomorrow. It's like basically the future house. So with North Node Capricorn, it's about taking the reins of your life in order to set yourself up for the future that you want. 11th house is also humanitarian goals. So also the future that you know humanity wants. So you could be someone who takes the reins, who takes control. It's like you could feel really emotional about something like, oh my gosh, there's so much trash in the sea with North Node Capricorn in 11th house. It's like, okay, am I gonna indulge in all of these sad emotions about how bad it is and it's not really creating any good in the world, the trash is still in the ocean? Or am I gonna take charge 
collect a coalition of like-minded individuals and start working towards the cause that I'm passionate about. Like it really is important for you to take a proactive response in regards to the future you want in both your own goals as well as humanitarian goals, as well as working with other people to get there. With North Node Capricorn 11th house, you could be someone who's a natural leader, who's a, la a natural manager over other people. And it really takes this balance around your Cancer South Node. You're very compassionate towards the plights of others. But with North Node Cap Capricorn, what you need to strengthen is thinking of the, the goal at the end and being able to motivate and inspire other people in a very practical way, right? So, you know, if someone comes to you and they're like, oh, I can't, I can't make it tomorrow. I just went through a breakup. You're Cancer South Node will want to just indulge and pity that person, but it's really important with Capricorn North Node that you wear your logical hat and say, I'm so sorry that happened, and think of it in terms of the goal. Okay, how are we gonna get there? Who's gonna fill in your spot? Like really not indulging too much of your own emotions as well as the team that you leads emotions. While it's beautiful and it's important to be compassionate with North Node Capricorn, staying focused on the goal, staying focused on the end result, and being and being open to partnering with other people who want the same long-term goals as you. Friends, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what resonated below. My Instagram handle is at Haley Comet Astrology. My TikTok is the same. I would love if you would join me on either of those. And until we meet again, drink lots of water and stay cosmic.